James Middleton's upcoming memoir, Meet Ella, is poised to capture attention as he shares his struggles with depression and the pivotal role his dog, Ella, played in his recovery. The serialization of excerpts in People magazine, an outlet closely associated with Meghan and Harry, adds an intriguing twist to the narrative, especially amid Meghan's ongoing challenges in maintaining her relevance. As James opens up about his mental health journey, including a near-fatal night in 2017, Meghan seems to be struggling to keep pace with her own storytelling efforts. Critics suggest that her attempts at emotional honesty have been overshadowed by the success of others, leaving her scrambling for meaningful content in a saturated media landscape. The irony of James choosing people, the very platform that has historically supported Meghan, underscores a potential shift in public focus. While James's memoir emphasizes family ties and personal growth, Meghan's previous revelations about her experiences as a royal have garnered mixed reactions, often met with skepticism rather than sympathy. There are whispers that Meghan may be preparing to respond with her own memoir, possibly drawing on her time as a working royal. However, the question remains, is there still a genuine interest to her story? As her previous narratives have drawn more eye rolls than empathy, the demand for another tale from her life seems uncertain. As James prepares to share his heartfelt narrative, Meghan's past claims of emotional turmoil appear increasingly overshadowed. The contrast between James's authentic story and Meghan's often criticized attempts to shape her image raises questions about the authenticity of her experiences. Ultimately, as Meet Ella hits the shelves, it may be a moment for reflection on the contrasting narratives between a genuine journey of healing and the struggles of someone desperately trying to reclaim the spotlight. The unfolding drama between these two stories invites us to consider the true essence of personal storytelling in the public eye.